Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and in this beginner tutorial I will teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we begin, make sure to download Blender 2.8, which is free, and you can find the link in the description. Okay, so let's start off by scaling the cube on the x-axis. I click S, then X to scale the cube on the x-axis, and then left click to confirm the scale. And then go to add, mesh, and then add a plane. And I click S to scale up the plane. This is going to be the floor. And then click G, then Y to grab the plane on the Y axis. And then click G, then set to grab the plane on the set axis. And then we need to add the cube. So go to add, and then mesh, and then add a cube. Then click S to scale down the cube. And then click G to grab the cube. Then left click to confirm once again and then go down to the physics settings click rigid body and then change the mass to 20 kilos which it looks a little bit better and then change the shape to mesh and then let's increase the friction and then let's also go to the dynamics and increase the translation and rotation value which uh, sort of limits the movement of the objects over time and then select the plane and add the rigid body physics and change the type to passive and uh, change the shape to mesh and then increase the friction and then let's select the uh, cuboid add rigid body physics change the type to passive animated and uh, set the collision shape to mesh and then we need to animate the uh, cuboid because right now we only have gravity for the cube but no movement for the cuboid so let's go to the first frame and then click n to uh, see the location and then click I to keyframe the location. And then let's move forward in time. So let's go to frame 130, for example. And then click G, then Y to grab the objects on the Y axis. Left click to confirm. And then click I to keyframe the new location. So when we move on the timeline, you can see that we have the uh, cuboid animation pushing the uh, cube. Okay, so let's pause the animation and uh, let's create a save. So click File, Save As, and then save the file wherever you want on the computer, give it a name, and I click Enter to save. Okay, so let's select the cube, add a new material, and then change the surface to diffuse, and I click Shift D to duplicate. And then let's add uh, 12 cubes in total. You can add more if you want to. And as you can see, the material is also copied when you do the uh, duplication. Okay, and then let's play the animation once again. And as you can see, it works. So let's pause. And whenever you use rigid body physics, I recommend going into the rigid body world and uh, cache and then baking the animation so that everything is pre calculated before you start the render later on. Okay, so now it's finally time to get into the light and render settings. So let's start off by switching to rendered view. And as you can see, we're in Eevee, so we need to change into the Cycles Render because it looks a lot better. And then change the device to GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's change the render samples to 200 for both the render and the viewport. And then let's select the light source, go into the light settings, change it into a sun. And then let's set the strength to 7. And then we need to rotate the sun. So click R to rotate the sun, and then left click to confirm the rotation. And then let's make the background completely white, so go to the world settings. And then change the color, so something like this. And then let's select the cuboid, and then go to the materials, and then let's change it from a uh, principal shader to a uh, diffuse shader, and then let's make it blue. You can obviously add whatever color you want, so just uh, add a color you like. And then we need to select the uh, cubes, so right click to select, and then let's make it uh, red. You can also hide the overlay by going to the top right corner. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it's rendered. And uh, then let's animate the color. So let's go to the first frame, frame 1, and I click I to keyframe. And then let's go to frame 100. Let's uh, set it to blue and then click I to keyframe once again. 
And when we move on the timeline, you can see that the color changes, which is really cool. Okay, so now it's time to set up the camera. So click numpad zero to look through the camera. And then lock the camera to view. And then let's go backwards by using the scroll wheel. And then right click to select the camera. And then go to the camera settings and increase the end value so that the range of the camera increases. And then move the camera around until you have a position you like. And then the next step of the tutorial is to set up the output settings. So let's go to the output settings. Let's change the uh, frame rate to 30 FPS. And then let's set the end frame to 200 because we don't really need any more frames. And then let's uh, select a folder for the uh, final animation. And then give the animation a name. You can save it wherever you want on the computer, it doesn't really matter. And for beginners, it's the most convenient to use the AVI JPEG type file and then set the quality to 100%. And then go to render and then change the display mode to uh, image editor. And then click render image to make a uh, test render. And then click render and then render animation to render the whole animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll post more tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.